Hello there fellow citizens. Today I wanted to talk about the Lumberyard engine and some misconceptions about it and also about the graphical future of the game and if it will look dated in a few years before it is even released. There has been a lot of concern about that, uh, especially with newer engines and technology popping up like recently uh, the Unreal Engine 5. And people are really worried that the Lumberyard engine is too old to keep up and that the game will look dated before it's even released. So first of all, I wanted to talk about the Lumberyard engine itself and what that means for the game more from a technical standpoint. And afterwards, I want to talk about, well, more or less graphics in general and uh, how they look outdated and what that even means. So, um, as you might know or might have figured out by now that uh, Star Citizen is using the Lumberyard engine and this is a game engine licensed by Amazon, but it actually is more or less um, Uh, engine that is based on the Cry engine um, that was used for Crysis uh, and some games from Crytek uh, in the past. So that engine is a little on the old side because obviously uh, it was used for the start of Star Citizen and Star Citizen development began way back. So you could argue um, that this already defines that the engine is too old and has to be replaced at some point um, and it can't keep up with more modern engines. Um, one thing is uh, why do you even use an engine and what does it do for you? Well, the main feature normally talked about uh, regarding engine is the graphics engine, so the renderer and everything that produces the pretty pictures that you can see on your screen. So in that regard, Lumberyard, if you would just use it out of the box, would probably look a bit dated. And you see some of those effects in the current Star Citizen build as well. There are some te um, technologies used that you would probably not use in that regard today. Uh, and there are some limitations. But one big thing that you have to consider is that Star Citizen is only still using a fraction of the Lumberyard engine. It's not Lumberyard vanilla, just put in some assets and some gameplay in there, but CLG has done a lot, a ton of work to update the engine with numerous features. So um, yeah, in some case you get to that metaphor, uh, you have a wooden ship in a museum uh, and every once in a while you have to replace a bit of wood that gets that is rotten and now you ask yourself okay if you replaced each and every bit of that ship uh, is it still the same si ship so you could argue that if CIG has replaced every bit of the Lumberyard engine is it still the Lumberyard engine uh, in that regard um, I would argue No, not really, <laughs> um, but uh, the question is, okay, at what percentage would you say it's its own thing? Um, and obviously there is some discussion about that. Currently, CAG is working on the Gen 12 renderer, um, and this is something that has nothing to do with the Lumberyard engine. It will actually replace the, the renderer from the engine. And as I said before, um, that graphic uh, rendering technology is one of the core parts when you discuss uh, engines and their looks. Um, so with this change, I would argue that Star Citizen is not actually anymore using Lumberyard uh, or only fractions of it. Um, so uh, I would say the argument that the engine is outdated by itself is not really relevant anymore. Still, uh, even all the stuff that was replaced could also be outdated. <laughs> completely disregarding uh, if it's Lumberyard or it's something that CLG made. So you get, well, first it's hard to define what does outdated really mean. Um, I don't think you always have to go uh, bleeding edge with everything so it's not outdated because, well, uh, at some point there are not that many powerful machines out there that can run everything. So you would want to have some, at least some backfall technology for that and not go all in uh, or otherwise well you will end up with a very small target audience that can actually run your game um, yeah uh, but I think what people are mostly talking or thinking about there is uh, with the new Unreal Engine because that actually does some parts very differently so um, the most advanced or innovative things are uh, that are in there are Nanite and Lumen um, Nanite is a technology that uh, basically allows you to display 3D models uh, with unlimited amount of detail. Obviously it's not really unlimited but um, it's, it's 
completely different approach uh, how to render geometry um, and how to render level of detail. So um, you can have amazing detail uh, in the distance still and don't need to use very low poly uh, objects there. And one thing that you definitely have noticed in Star Citizen is that, um, for example, for the trees or microtech or something that if they are further away, they look very wonky and only if you get up close, they look nice. Uh, and that's something that Nana, well, more or less gets rid of. Um, so I think that's very interesting. We haven't seen it yet in action though, so uh, it might be a bit of a different thing to have that actually implemented in a game. And we don't know, we don't really know how the performance will be. Um, I mean, it is targeting uh, the new consoles, so it shouldn't be so bad. But uh, yeah, sometimes theory and practical uh, having a game uh, is something different. And another thing you have to consider is that um, it's a lot of data that has to be streamed in because these assets uh, are very high detail and that's probably fine if you have your standard typical open world game or something like that. But for Star Citizen that might not even work because, well, you would need to have a whole universe uh, in that detail and that might mean that the game is just getting too big and there might be uh, other limitations. So. Um, switching over to uh, Unreal Engine and just using Nanite out of the box and Star Citizen just starts to look better might be completely off the table. Um, and there are probably a lot of other limitations to Unreal that won't work uh, with Star Citizen and would have to be reworked anyway. On the other hand, um, now that CAG is doing more or less everything themselves, um, not relying on an engine, um, obviously they have more control um, of all that stuff. So if they see something and they decide, well, it looks outdated, um, they could, with enough time and knowledge, uh, just make it look better. <laughs> so. Uh, they could implement their own nanite system in theory. Um, I, I, I wouldn't expect that to be the case because that's really a big overhaul and you would probably have to do all redo all the assets and it would probably mean another, I don't know, 10 years or something to uh, do that for the game. Um, but at least they have the control there and that's um, something that you should not underestimate. Um, the other big thing that the uh, Unreal Engine 5 5 delivers uh, is the Lumen system, which is a um, solution for global illumination. So it's a lighting system that allows you to have um, very dynamic lighting, which is nice. So you have real time lighting, you can move light sources around and everything is calculated in real time. You don't have pre calculated shadows or pre calculated global illumination in that regard, um, which gives you a lot of freedom. Um, so compare that to Star Citizen, uh, which uses, to my knowledge, uh, light probes um, that have to be set up by artists in different regions and have to be controlled. Um, with Lumen, you don't need those, so you can save a lot of work. Um, you have a little less artistic control. It's always looking realistic, which probably is nice, but sometimes you might want to have something that just looks amazing and great and hyper realistic. Uh, and as an artist, you can't do much if uh, all the lighting is actually physically simulated instead of you being able to move around some sliders and do some uh, settings there yourself. Um, what has been seen in the preview of the Unreal Engine is that Lumen is very uh, hardware intensive. So you need to have a really good graphics card and it really drops your frame rates a lot. So I'm not sure if that would even be something that would work with Star Citizen. Um, well, <laughs> I guess we all don't know um, because Star Citizen has a lot of complex and very special um, environment, I would say, and that could be very bad for performance if you use something like Lumen. Um, but the Citizen is using some global illumination, um, uh, even though it's not that uh, bleeding edge, it's more standard stuff. Um, but I think, at least um, in my point of view, it still looks very nice. You have these um, global illumination effects like bounce lights um, to a certain re um, regard, at least. And obviously the lighting is uh, also dynamic in the sense that you can move around light sources. You have full day and night cycle uh, and everything that you want on that side. Um, but yes, there are some artifacts and it's not completely realistic in the way it is. But as they move to the uh, Gen 12 renderer, um, 
Ray tracing is not completely off the table. I think they said that they are not planning to implement it, but they will definitely still look at it. Um, I see ray tracing probably more in regards to shadows and reflections for Star Citizen than for global illumination. Um, but uh, who knows, maybe at some point in 10 years or some, something, uh, ray tracing will be uh, so much better performance regards uh, and they will just, well, it's not just flip the switch, but they will look at it and implement a way of global illumination going forward. I mean, if you look at games as a service that have a very long lifespan, uh, many of those um, have uh, changed dramatically how they look and have implemented a lot of new technology. Even World of Warcraft has ray traced shadows now. Um, well, you could argue if that's uh, makes a big difference or not, um, but you can do a lot in the future without having to throw everything out the window and go uh, for a completely new engine. Uh, and besides that, I think Unreal Engine is a great inspiration to look at, um, but I would not necessarily say it's a must-have uh, to make Star Citizen look in the future. And that's where I want to get to the second part of the video. We're already in quite a, quite some time, but um, it's going to be a longer one, I don't care. Um, and that's the question, okay, what does it even mean if a game looks outdated? And I have a theory in that regard that this won't even be such a big problem, because I think we are at a point in 3D graphics where 3D graphics age quite gracefully. So if you remember first 3D graphics back then, maybe with a Nintendo 64 or something, it's really hard to look at those games today if you don't have the nostalgia for it. At that time, 2D games looked way better than the 3D counterparts, um, but well, 3D was the new big thing and obviously uh, also for game design it opened up a big variety um, that was not uh, possible to do before. Um, but those games look really poorly uh, and people are afraid that this will happen again uh, and um, for good reason because well that was the case for probably the last uh, well, let's say 15 to 20 years um, that games uh, at some point just looked very old and dated and it could actually be something that made it hard for you to get back to those games and enjoy them even though the gameplay was the same but it's just off-putting and obviously that's something that you don't want to see in Star Citizen when it's released. Um, but I think stuff has changed there. I think there is a peak or there's a point in graphics quality um, where it's getting so good that it's looking nice on the eye. It's aesthetically pleasing in an objective way. Um, and I think we've reached that. Um, what I mean by that, if you look at games from the, well, more or less from the PlayStation 4 area to today, um, obviously more modern games do look better. Uh, you have, for example, ray tracing, or you have more details, you have more realistic lighting, um, but there is a point where these games still look quite nice. So if you um, think about the discussion about remasters currently, um, there are some games that are planned to be remastered, but the community actually asked the question, do we even need a remaster? Doesn't this game still look good? For example, the first uh, Last of Us, it's still a good looking game. And I think it's at a point where even in 10 years or something, it will still look good. It will look dated in a way that it's obvious that it's not completely realistic, but I think you won't have that effect that it is off-putting to play it, um, to look at it, uh, um, because it's really easy on the eyes. Um, so I would imagine that even if Star Citizen uh, looks exactly the same like now and will be released in maybe 10 years, it won't be the case that you look at it and you think, oh, no, I'm not going to play this, this looks awful. Um, at least I hope that's the case. Um, so I'm not worried about that too much. Obviously, on the other hand, bleeding edge, cutting edge graphics are awesome in itself. And yes, if I, if I can choose, I want to have those in every game. And I am very much uh, what you would call a graphics fetishist. And I'm always excited about seeing new games like the new Forza Horizon or something. Um, but not every game has to deliver that for me. So it would be a plus, obviously. So for example, a flight simulator, I played that mostly for the graphics. I didn't care too much about just flying around, but it just looked amazing. Um, but I have actually um, 
come to terms with that and say, okay, Star Citizen, it looks very nice. I don't have any problems uh, with the graphics and I don't think I will in the future, but to me, I don't expect it to be what it looked to be like in the beginning where they were quite far ahead with their graphics system, um, but I will expect it to be um, very nice to look at, but not to be something that's completely groundbreaking and will be showed in every showcase, just as an example, how great graphics will look like. Maybe CAG will prove me wrong. Maybe at some point they will up the game and introduce some new technologies that make the game look absolutely amazing. I mean, it. In my head, it looks absolutely amazing, but I mean more uh, from a technical standpoint. Um, but I guess we can't do much more than wait for that and see how it will actually play out. And so far, let's have a look at all the new technology that's coming out. Let's hope there's some cool stuff in there, maybe some quick wins that CRG can implement quite easily. And just hope that the game will still look as amazing as it is currently looking in the future and we just have fun and enjoying playing it. So with that, I hope you enjoyed the video. I would love to hear your ideas about this topic. Just write them down in the com uh, comments. If you liked it, give it a like. Um, always subscribe my channel. Um, many of you are not subscribed. I would love to do more videos here and you get notified about them. And with that, see ya.